Every morning, I see people wearing suit, a form that has always existed in men's conception. I grew up in the country where social pressure was heavily present. We were surrounded by rules that confined people, both mentally and physically. In school, I was instructed how to wear a school uniform and how to have a certain hairstyle. The rules were very strict and you're punished if you don't follow them. The desire of wanting to be different from others grew naturally. Clothing is a very basic medium to express yourself. But in such environment, there are only two ways of differentiating yourself. To have the same thing in a better, better quality or have something that has a secret that other people don't know. I believe the human has the desire to be independent and in individual. The restrictions and rules is kind of source of my inspiration of my work, creating something unexperienced, revealing hidden surprise. I express very subtle way, very secretive way. Sometimes, you know, people might just think it's just like looks like normal jacket or normal garments. But if you look carefully and look again, you, find, you might find it's different. But it's very, very subtle level. So it's more interesting in the end. Rather than, you know, something obvious, you can, you know, directly get maybe some impact or shock. Then it's, that's it. But something is really subtle, you, makes you, you know, rethink, think again and see again, gives more, um, a strong message. Sometimes I show the form without any function. Why is it here? For what reason? So it's kind of like having some moment we rethink about the forms we've been used for many years. Tailoring starts from understanding that every part of body has its own shape. You need to understand the material the flexibility of cloth and you also need the skill to manipulate it to a three dimension. It's like the giving a birth to a cloth to stay on three dimension on the body. I've been collecting vintage products for quite some time. Uh, I appreciate things made in old days when commercial competition was less fierce. And I questioned myself why this is more attractive to me than things are produced now. You can see the consideration and details, you, you know, and they try to reach the perfection. In, in very pure sense, I just want to, um, I just try to make it uh, the perfection I think in my, in my term. I try to keep the control of the continuity from my idea into the final work. So I took this very um, hard path actually rather than going very efficient way of business. First, I want to dispute the concept of the understanding of work rather than products. Cat work is not really ideal medium for me to present and to explain of the nature of my work. For example, transformable garments that can't be uh, presented on the cat work because cat work is only about surface, it looks, but my work is more about 
the idea behind the, the garment and the process and the concept, the, uh, the attitude and opinion. So I try to put in um, static ways so people can see the, the whole process of uh, the creating a, a garment, a, a work. Some people say, you know, there is, isn't you know, new anymore, it's already done before, it's all, only about like editing and like things. But I don't believe that because there, there is, you know, a lot of things you can explore. If you, once you th think that way, I think that is the just end of your, your imagination. You still have to keep trying and, you know, try pushing boundary. I just want to create something um, we never, I never experienced, and we never experienced. It's something I give unique experience for for people.